Hey everybody, do you see what I'm seeing? Glowing red eyes, but hey, when you look at the front of me... Oh, wait, yep. Absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, I saw a little sparkle there. Eh, eh, eh. Well, that's a bummer. Sometimes it glitches out, like I said, so yeah. Okay, so last episode, you saw me and my good friend Alex get to this part. Uh, yeah. So we're going to be finding the 10 treasures, and there's actually a gargoyle and a key in this area here. And then there's a key back in the original area when we were talking to uh, Captain Dread there. And we kind of basically uh, took his magic treasure thing and stole his ship. So, yeah. Basically. Yeah, just going to go around here on the island and find all the little cool treasures. Uh, is there, like, enemies here? I can't even remember if there's enemies here. It looks like it because the camera angles are going all wacky. Um, yeah, these these treasure chests are a pain in the anus. But that's okay. We'll find them all. Um, I always dreaded this level. <laughs> oh, cut the dread. No, I always um actually dreaded this level because it it's really time consuming and it's really annoying if you don't know what you're doing. And usually that's the case with me. So. Oh, of course. Not a beetle. What was I thinking? That's why I can't freely move. God dang it. More beetles. Everywhere! Okay. Yep. Jump down here and first treasure chest of the day. Fantastic. Alright. Well, I just got off work and let me tell you, I'm beat. It's been a fun day. It was nice and easy. But I spent, like, literally my entire night grinding on Guild Wars 2 last night. Getting the epic gear and stuff like that it's it's kinda grown on me again so I don't hate it I just I wish it was WoW in the lore um, only up till Burning Crusade and then after that yeah I just I kinda like the combat better so yeah alright as you can see there was a key up there to my right directly up there and there's only one way to get it Kill these beetles, just kidding. Um Oh, there's a shovel here, I wonder why. Good thing we have a gun. Oh hey, a dig spot. Who would have thought? Alright. Bet you it's gonna be right where this is too. Alright, Dougie. Oh, maybe it's not. Never mind. Well, it's pretty close to it, so. And there's a dead skeleton over there. Awesome. Yes! Found it. Money bags. Alright, so that's treasure chest number two. So yes, some of them are actually hidden underground. The first time that I ever played this when I was little, I had no idea. I was looking for treasure chests everywhere and I couldn't find them. And then all of a sudden I realized, oh hey, treasure. So yeah, make sure your dog is a five star level treasure hunter when you're here. I don't think it's going to matter too much, but yeah. Alright, and there's your gargoyle. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and shoot him right there. We have 45. Five more gargoyles to go, and then, well, we can't do it until after we kill a certain gym buddy. Anyway, you, uh, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, we gotta beat the game first before we can actually do it, which is kind of silly. I don't, I don't like that, because, I mean, it's a weapon you're gonna want to use. But, eh, what do you gotta do? We can hit back here, and there's a treasure chest. So, number four, I believe. Wait, where'd number three come from? Or is this number three? I, do, I don't know, I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, this is number three. <laughs> I was gonna say. Alright, now be careful when you jump off because you might actually jump off into something you don't want to jump off to. Alright, there, there, yeah, yes. Alright, we got the number four here. So basically, this is one giant jumping puzzle. Well, not really a jump puzzle. Oh, hear that sinister music in the background. Uh, don't worry, there's nothing really major here, I don't believe. Uh, I remember it only being beetles, so... I wouldn't worry too much about what lurks in the forest here. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this this Let's Play's kind of coming to an end. I know we haven't really had the views I've wanted on it, but, uh, you know, I mean, there's still been some loyal people watching it. We still get about maybe 40, 30, 40 views per video, which... It's not the best, but you know, what, what, what am I going to do, you know? So... Um, you know, definitely share these videos with your friends. I mean, we could, you know, we could use your help. You are the audience. I mean, if you want to help us out, that's cool. If you don't, eh, that's cool too. Whatevs. 
Um, oh, hey look, number five's right behind the tree here. That's awesome. But we do appreciate it, um, for those that do help, because, uh, you know, liking and sharing this video will help us get more popular on YouTube, because I really don't want to monetize our videos, like, at least just yet, because, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the commercials, and I assume everyone else is not as well, so I don't want to, like, push that right away, you know what I mean? Um... Alright, well, where is the key then, mister? Oh, there it is, duh. Whoa, don't jump too far. Okay. <laughs> that was a close one. Alright, I wonder if this key actually counts as one of the treasures. Nah, it doesn't. Okay. Alright, so five more to go. Uh, one of these is that little puddle there, as you can see. Clearly. Sweet. So yeah, this place loads you up with gold. Not that we need it, because... I'm already rolling like crazy amounts of money. New quest available. Slave rescue. Okay. That's good. Um, so yeah. Halloween's coming up. Can't wait for that. That's going to be good stuff. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to be. Because the only costume I'm really caring about right now is the my costume for Otakon next year. Because I live in Maryland and this is like the... This is like Otakon land. So, you know, I'm probably going to, I'm going to be going as, like, no face from, uh, Spirited Away. I'm going to, like, I'm not going to do the entire costume. I'm going to go in a suit and then, um, wear the mask that I'm going to carve out with, uh, an orange anime wig. So, yeah, that'll be kind of cool. Um, so, yeah. Alright, I believe the other chests are back outside. So we got all those, that's good. Um, I thought that one of these was near a waterfall, but evidently I am wrong. Not that we haven't gotten the ones near the waterfall. Can we vault down there? No. I wouldn't suggest it. Alright, so... Mm, looks like I'm going to have to amplify this sound, because my mic quality doesn't pick up my voice well without actually picking up fuzz in the background too. I'm still learning how to figure out the sounds, you know, so we're, we're still working on that. Uh, I believe you can go past these buoys. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure you can go around here. Aha! Yep. Alright, cool. So that's number eight. Okay. Another 1,500 gold. Sweet. So yeah, basically this place is just loading you up with money again, like I said. <laughs> Hello, doggy. I'm just a head. I'm just a floating head. <laughs> That's all you are. I feel like the treasure chest is in... Nope. Not in there. Okay. Um, Just take a quick look around here. Aha. Yep. There we are. There's number nine. And then number 10 should be all the way on the other side. So I believe we can go past the buoys once again, and that should be number 10. So I kind of did these out of order, but, you know, I, really, there's there's no method to this madness. So, yeah. No optimal way to do this. Come on now. Get past the barrel. Don't let it be your enemy. Or the mud bops. Okay. Enough Bill Cosby. That was a terrible Bill Cosby impression. Oh no, we we can't go out there. Okay, so I'm missing number ten. Lovely. This is gonna be it. This is gonna be the thing that kills me, isn't it? I'm not gonna be able to find number ten. Poop. All right. Just check our surroundings for the obvious. Cause it is obviously somewhere. Is it in that little hut there? Fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, I do. Oh, hey, look at that. <laughs> really? That's just sad. Um, now, I'm hoping I didn't miss my one and only chance to friggin' uh, get that silver key back there. I really hope that I didn't. Because <laughs> that would suck. All this hard work for nothing. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get back near the pirate ship, and I'll see you guys in just a second, okay? You found the old dead sea dog. 
Aye, I knew you would, my lad. Finished him off for good, and stole his ship too. <laughs> the Marianne. Never thought I'd see her, and count myself living. Aye, you'll be a legend among pirates for this, you will. And you proved Salty Jack ain't gone soft in the head yet. I can go back to my port without fear of ridicule. I thank ye. Alright, and we get Captain Dread's sword. It's not something we can use, it's just a uh, renown trophy. So, you know, that's kind of cool, but whatever. Uh, we got 7,500 renown points, which is great. We always love those renown points. Let's see if we can... Yay! So, yeah, it's just a trophy. We can't use it all. Um, I think we can always go back to the island if we go up there and hit the steering wheel. So had you missed any of the gargoyles or keys in that mission, you can go back. And we're going back in single. All right, so... <laughs> Heroic music! All right, so we're going to dive in here. And we're gonna get right back up on this side. Can we? Can we do that? Can we do that? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. So yeah, uh, last episode we raised the water levels, and as you know, we couldn't get back down. Now we can. And silver key. So that is. Let's just double check because I don't want to get lost in this uh, thing. Okay. So we have 45 gargoyle, gargoyles, 45 keys. That is awesome. And I think that is where we will end this episode off with. Off now. <laughs> Whatever. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Okay, so anyway. Uh, next episode. Slave rescue is not important. That's just a request that will never end. Uh, we're going to need to do some more of the archaeologist quest next episode. And we'll probably do the hit. So yeah. I think we'll save that for next episode. And this will probably be the last one we do before we do the bloodstone assault. Which is the very last mission of the game. So be warned. Anyway, other than that, thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and follow us on Twitter. Thank you very much. Uh, my name's Patrick, and this has been One Synchronized Swarm. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.